Hi guys, in this video I'll be making the spicy honey butter crispy fried chicken wings. John Legend's favorite fried chicken recipe that he released that I'll be going by. It's supposedly so good that he calls this the legendary fried chicken recipe. I read the reviews on this recipe and there were a lot of them. Believe it or not, all of them seeing how good this was. So with all these praising good reviews on it, I had to jump on the bandwagon and give this a try. After I make this, I'm going to give you my review on it at the end. So stay tuned. So John's recipe calls for 5 pounds of chicken. This is a lot. Since I don't need to make that much, I'm halving the entire recipe, therefore doing 2.5 pounds of chicken instead, which gave me about 16 individual chicken wings. Either way, I'll list both serving size recipes for 5 pounds and 2.5 pounds of chicken in the video description below. First, we'll start with the brine, adding about 5 cups of water into a large bowl to place the chicken in. Add 3 tablespoons of Lowry's seasoned salt. And 1 and 1 fourth tablespoon of garlic powder. And 2 tablespoon of cayenne pepper. And now mix together. And set that aside. The chicken wings I bought were not individually cut. So I'm going to cut that to get the wingets and drumstick. Just like so, and I'll discard the tip. And here's the wing flat and drumstick. I'll place these in the brine and cut the rest of the chicken wings. So the process of putting the chicken wings in this brine is to soak in the seasoned water to enhance the flavor and tenderness. The flavor is going to get in there, every bite's going to be delicious, not just the skin, every bite's going to be great, okay? Once all the cut chicken has been placed fully submerged in brine, then cover it up and place in the refrigerator for at least 4 hours. John says he likes to do his overnight. Once the chicken is done from brining, we're ready to bread and then deep fry the wings. If you don't have a deep fryer like me, you can use a pot. To get started, pour canola oil enough to submerge the chicken wings in batches. While we wait for the oil to heat up, we can bread the chicken wings. In a large bowl, add 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 tablespoon of seasoned salt, half tablespoon of cayenne pepper and mix together. Bringing the wings back from the brine liquid removed, toss into the flour mixture until coated really well. Then onto a baking sheet and repeat for the rest of the wings. Some people like to do, you know, buttermilk, eggs, all that other stuff. Mine's always worked just with flour and some seasoning. And you can use those other type of recipes too, but I've had some fried chicken off some people and I've won, I'm just saying. So you can do all the bells and whistles, but I keep it pretty simple. Yup, simple is best. If you don't have a heat thermometer, you can use a wooden skewer. And if it starts to bubble when you put in the oil, it's ready. I'll carefully drop the wings into the oil using tongs. And I'll do this in a couple batches. Fry wings until golden and crispy, around 13 minutes per batch. When they're done, drain the wings on paper towel and repeat until all your wings are fried. Okay. Oh, don't they look good? 
While the wings are frying, you can prep the spicy honey butter sauce. For this, first melt half stick, which is one fourth cup of unsalted butter. And put that in a bowl. Then add two tablespoons of hot sauce. Now John highly recommends using the Cholula hot sauce in particular. And then one tablespoon of honey and about half a tablespoon of kosher salt and mix together. Now all you need to do is slather the wings in the spicy honey butter sauce and they're ready. And a side note, John says you can use this same recipe for making regular fried chicken too. Some have called this chicken legendary. I have to concur. If you want to win at home, win with your friends, it's good for parties, you can do wings like this. Feel free to use this recipe. You won't want your fried chicken any other way after this. And there you go. The spicy honey butter fried chicken wings. Recipe courtesy of the legendary man himself, John Legend. This looks so good. Now I can't wait to try this and give you my review on this next. Alright, I'm trying out John Legend's spicy, crispy, honey butter chicken wings. These look so good. Smell that spice. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what this is all about. Alright. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that butter, honey, it's not very spicy. In fact, it's not really spicy. Wow. This is good. This is very like mild spice. It's not really spicy. First bites, very impressed. Really, really good. It has a perfect kick of spice. But that honey and butter really gives that that flavor. And then the seasoning of the chicken, really good. These might be one of the best chicken wings that I've ever had. Probably the best chicken wings I've ever had to date. It's that good. All right. So how you eat a chicken wing, twist. So I just twist the ends and the smaller bone will slowly break apart. And I just pull that out. Now you can bite off all the meat from that or simply remove the larger bone by pulling it out. Of course I don't waste any meat. And now you're left with a chunk of boneless meat and skin. Dip it in your favorite sauce and enjoy. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video and give this recipe a try. I have to agree with all of these reviews. It's a hit. Thank you John Legend for sharing this amazing recipe and thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and aloha.